Okay, so you've got the dreaded cracked lens on your Atom Stack X7 Pro or the M50 module. Uh, so let's talk about how, you, how to fix it. Uh, first thing you need to know, take a look at the link below. I've posted the replacement part uh, for the laser module. It takes, uh, it's available on AliExpress. It takes about maybe less than two weeks for to arrive. You want to make sure that you get the 10 watt module. The link will uh, show both 10 and 20. So you have to make sure that you select the 10 watt module or you're going to get uh, the wrong part and it's not going to fix this laser. What you're going to receive is a box probably looks a lot like this when I first opened it thought great they forgot to in, uh, to include anything uh, but underneath this piece here you've got a little bag and inside two laser mod or two lenses um, lenses and windows so originally my unit did not come with the window I've already installed one because I had to destroy the unit uh, or destroy the lens holder taking the old one out um, but hopefully you won't make the same mistakes I did. So you'll end up with two, uh, two lenses. So this top part is the window. This comes off. It just, uh, unscrews from the top. And then this is what goes actually into the laser diode module. So we're going to talk about how to, how to, uh, replace these. You're going to need a couple of, uh, couple of things. One comes with the unit. One does not. So if you do not have a, uh, 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. You need that to remove uh, the window. So, pretty simple here. There's this little set screw right there. You just have to loosen that up a couple of turns and then your, your window will slide right out. Removing this window gives you just a little bit of extra room to work. So, we're going to take that out, set that aside. Now, the next thing you got to remove is the cone. If you've kept your original, I guess, lack of air assist, then, then this cone is installed. It's held in with two screws. Um, this is the smallest of the Allen wrenches that come with the Atom Stack X7 Pro. So you're simply going to remove this screw and the one that's next to it, and then this cone will come out. I've already taken out one. So just to kind of speed things up on this video. So we'll take that out and then we don't want to lose our screw there. But then this cone comes out and then that exposes the lens assembly. Now, hopefully yours looks a lot like mine. Now originally, like I said, mine did not have this window on it, but it did have this metal uh, cover. Whatever you do when you're trying to remove this thing, I know you're going to be tempted like I did and uh, to grab a pair of pliers or first I tried to pliers and a rubber band because I didn't want to mess up the metal, but um, I didn't realize that this was a cover. And so by just the fact of putting pressure on this with a pair of anything, uh, a pair of pliers, I think I bent it out of round and that meant it was not going to come off. I could, this should probably just be finger tight. So you can see this is threaded. So you should be able to unscrew this. If you're just changing out the window, then this unscrews. But now the laser module, again, I've already replaced this. So um, I can't promise you that yours is only gonna be finger tight because mine was glued in, thus the necessity to drill it out. Again, if you need to see that whole thing, then you can uh, take a look at the link below. But essentially, it just unscrews. You can grab your replacement and just screw that right on back in. So I'm gonna put the one that I had in there. So that should just screw in. When you screw it in, the, uh, the base, the copper base should hit that aluminum, silver looking piece. There shouldn't be any gap there. If there's a gap, it's going to affect your focal length. So you want this to be tight. I, I, again, I'd recommend finger tight. I know this thing moves around a lot, but hopefully not enough to uh, shake it loose. You could put Loctite on there or something, but uh, honestly, 
I'd rather deal with uh, this thing coming loose than to have to go through what I did before and completely take this apart to uh, do it. So changing out the uh, cracked lens is that easy. Now that they've included this, I think it's gonna, it hopefully will prevent things from getting on the lens itself and hopefully that'll prolong the life of the lens. So these little windows are available as well. Um, I now have three extras because that was the first thing I replaced. I thought that was the, uh, when it said laser lens or whatever, I thought it was the focusing lens, not just a, a glass window. So that's all, all it takes. And then of course you can just uh, do everything in reverse, put this back in, put your window back in, and hopefully you'll be back in business.